A quick overview of the interface components. The quick access toolbar is in the upper left. You can modify this and add and remove commands. So if I wanted to, I could very quickly add an email button and a quick print button, which would give me the opportunity to come up here and email this to someone or quick print it. If I wanted to go further into this, I can actually do more commands and I can modify that quick access button right from here and put any command that I choose into that bar. But with the two that I've added, let's just go ahead and take a quick look at the email button. So say I wanted to send this sheet off to someone, I just click on that and it will create the email for me. And then I just put the person's name in and I send it. So those are some of the things that you can do with the quick access toolbar. Next, you're going to see the title. I've saved this particular worksheet into OneDrive. And OneDrive has the ability to do version control and sharing and those types of things. Because of the location that I've saved it at, when I click on this little down arrow, I can then open the file location or share the link to this document so we can collaborate on the spreadsheet, or I can go into version history. Now it's important to note that these features don't always show up in every saved version of a workbook. For example, if you save this directly to your hard drive, you're not going to have those version controls or sharing features. So this may or may not appear depending on where you've saved the document. The next thing that we looked at was the tell me what you want to do box. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and type in footer. And as you can see, when I type in footer, it shows my header and footer options. It's taking me directly to that menu item. When I click on it, it opens up my header and footer so I can add a header or footer to the workbook. We're going to look at the tab bar. And as you can see, when we click through the tabs, it's opening the containers of menu items down here in the ribbon. So the top part is called the tab. What's located down here is called the ribbon. And I talked a little bit in um, some previous things about how this ribbon can sometimes be confusing to people. And I'll show you why. As you minimize this, correct, you'll notice that things are disappearing from the ribbon. But you don't have to worry about that because if you think that you know where something's at, you can use this little down arrow and actually access all of the features that would be included in that. So those are the types of things that we can do. And as we expand it, those features, of course, come back. So now all of the features in the ribbon for styles and various things are back where they need to be. So the commands are in the ribbon and they're in the tab containers, just like we discussed. This is your name box and it's gonna tell you the active cell that you're in. I'm in A1. This is my formula bar. This is where we put our data in. So if I put test in here, it's showing up right over here in my active cell. If I do a formula here, so we'll do sum, you'll notice that it starts telling me first what formulas are available and then the format of those formulas so that I can actually build that formula out properly. Your column letters are across the top. Your column rows are down the side. Your active cell would be where these intersect. Here is that little green handle that we talk about and we can click that and we can grab. This is good for copying data or formatting data. Down here we can see that we have two sheets. Notice sheet two and hello. We can create a new sheet by clicking on the plus and we have now sheet three. Or we can right click on these and we can make copies of them. So we're going to go ahead and click move or copy. We're going to create a copy of sheet two. Now we're going to create a copy of sheet three and put it before sheet two. And now we have sheet three copy two right there. If I want, I can drag these and put them in any order that I want. And this is where you manage your worksheets within your workbook. Okay. Over here, what we have are the different views. So this is my grid line view. This is my working view. This is my print view. So I can see how the, the data is going to print. And this is my reading view, which you'll notice is scaled way back with no grid lines. And using the zoom control in my reading view, I can then make this far more readable. So this is the zoom control right next to my different um, layout controls. We'll go back to grid view and you'll notice that this is gonna change around. So this is a quick overview of the menu. Next, we're gonna click on file, which is gonna take us to backstage. And you'll see again, there are a number of options here. We're gonna to go to options. And if we wanted to customize the ribbon, we could do that. I could go in here and I could turn different things on and off. So developer is currently off. We'll turn that on. Notice it doesn't show up up here when I hit OK. 
I now have my developer tab. So I can create or turn different tabs off and on or move items from within the ribbons into specific places. Maybe you only use a subset of Excel commands. You could create your own custom tab and put those common commands within that one tab. So that's a brief overview of the interface options. Let's move on.